Okay, guys, uh, let us consider this question. Uh, it's a straightforward question. I just want us to quickly have this uh, in as part of our revision. It's, uh, it's, it's a nice question because if you consider this time, just take a, a, what we have to calculate. Determine the operating speed in rest per minute. It's, it's something that we are not used to. We are used to when we are given this speed and we have to calculate other things uh, like volume, like power, this and that. Not for us to calculate the speed, but this time they wanted us to calculate the speed. So let us consider the question and the information that we are given on a hydraulic pump. All right, so this is what we have here. Uh, a double cylinder, that's a double cylinder. So the number of cylinders, there is two. A uh, single acting piston pump with a diameter of 70 millimeters. So given the diameter, uh, divide by a thousand, that's 0 0.07, right? It's gonna be a 0 0.7 in meters. And the stroke length, 150 millimeters, divide by a thousand, that's gonna be 0 0.15 in meters. Is designed to deliver, take note, to deliver water at a rate of, we are given the rate which is a Q, uh, that's the rate of 0, 0.027 cubic meters. This is cubic meters per second, all right? And we are asked to determine the operating speed, which is N, but this N is supposed to be in revs per minute. How so if the speed, if the flow rate is in cubic meters per second, how so? We are going to convert because we know that from the the flow rate in what in a, in a cubic meters per second we calculate n in revs per second or n must be in revs per second in order for us to have this in a cubic meters per second so it's either you're going to convert this to cubic meters per minute so that you have your n in revs per minute or you leave it like that you convert your final answer to cubic meters i mean to to revs per minute it's up to you all right, given the efficiency, it does not end there. We have got the efficiency there of 94%. This time, we are not given the slip. If we are given the slip, we, we subtract 100% minus the slip, we get the efficiency. All right, so like I said, this is a straightforward question, only that we are supposed to calculate what? The speed. But as we know, uh, from this flow rate that we are given, remember that the flow rate uh, is given by the total volume uh, times the the times the speed in reps per second in this one, in this case, reps per second, times the efficiency, because this is the theoretical flow rate. But if we use, if we had given efficiency, multiply by efficiency, it gives us the actual value of the flow rate. So as we need to calculate this N, which is what, uh, which is um, which is in reps per second, because our Q is in what? Cubic meters per second. So how do we calculate N? N is going to be, we divide, so that is going to be Q over, we divide by the total voltage times what? Times the efficiency. So we're going to divide by the total of your voltage and efficiency to calculate N. But like I said, this N that we're going to get here is going to be in rest per second since our Q is in cubic meters per second. We do not have the total volume. We are supposed to calculate this. As usual, you see that we are back again to the calculation of the total volume. The volume from where? From this information, let us just use this information here. We can take advantage of this space here. The total volume from the uh, number of cylinders, the diameter, and what? The stroke length. Uh, the total volume is given as the area, uh, pi d squared over 4. Uh, that is area times the stroke length times the number of cylinders, which is C. So this is going to give you the total voltage, uh, total volume, sorry. That's pi d squared, the diameter. Uh, 0, 0,07 squared over 4 times the stroke length, which is 0, 0,15 times C, which is our number of cylinders, which is 2 in this case. All right. So that is going to give us a VT in short. All right. So the total uh, volume, which is our VT in this case, was going to be something like 1, 1,54 uh, 5 like that. So it's going to be 155 because it's going to be 15453, which is 155 five times 10 to the exponent of negative 3. There's a negative there, uh, 3 in cubic meters. That's the total volume. So with the total volume, uh, the flow rate, 
and the efficiency, we can calculate our speed in rest per, per second. So Q, our flow rate is given as 0, 0.027 cubic meters per second over the total volume 1, 155 times 10 to the exponent of negative 3 times the efficiency, which is 94% as a decimal divided by 100, that will be 0, 0.94. So like I said, this is going to give us N in revs per second. So to convert this, we're going to multiply by 60, but you're going to get uh, something like uh, 24, 8, uh, 6, 8, 7, something like that, which is in revs per second. But for you to have revs per, per minute, per minute, we have to multiply by what? By 60, whatever that we are given. Uh, one minute is equal to what? 60 seconds. So that is, uh, in this case, for us to have per minute, we're going to have our N multiplied is going to be 1492, uh, 1492, to 3 decimal places. That's in revs per what? Per minute. Remember, if you're given revs per minute, you want to convert to revs per second, you divide by what? By 60. So to convert back to rest per minute, you multiply by what? You multiply by 60. You can round off to the nearest whole number. It's up to you. Or you can even leave it like that. That is what you're supposed to have in this case. So these are the typical questions. Direct like that. Direct like that. You just have to uh, consider your formulas. That is manipulation of your formulas. All right. So if you can answer something like this, we've got four marks. So we shall see more questions, like I said, uh, so that you just have to play around our information now it's playing around with our information we want to understand as deep as 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 deep as we can so that we'll be able to prepare ourselves for the exams ahead of time